Of all the warriors and heroes of the ancient Eldar race, none are more respected nor more venerated than the legendary Phoenix Lords. These mighty beings are the founders of the Aspect Shrines, and their heroic deeds have become tales of myth and legend amongst the Eldar race. Eldar legends tell that it was a Surman who had become the first of the Phoenix Lords when he trained the first of the Aspect Warriors, the Asuria, in the path of the Warrior, and that the Asuria would eventually found their own Aspect Warrior Shrines, to pass the skills they have learned to students who will continue to utilise their technique in the art of war. Should a Phoenix Lord ever be slain in battle, their spiritual essence will remain dormant inside their armour until it is donned by another Eldar warrior. If the warrior is worthy, then like the mythical Phoenix that is their namesake, the Phoenix Lord will become reborn in a new body of flesh and blood. It's unknown how many Phoenix Lords there are in total, for some are rarely seen, while others disappear for millennia at a time only to reappear suddenly and unexpectedly. Some have undoubtedly perished far away from any remnant of civilization. Their ancient and ornate suits of armour lying dormant upon some unknown and hostile world, awaiting discovery by an aspect warrior destined to wear the armour and become an ancient hero reborn once more. The known Phoenix Lords are as follows. Asurman, the Hand of Asurian, the founder of the Dire Avengers Shrine. Jane Zar, the Storm of Silence, founder of the Howling Banshees. Malgan Ra, the Harvester of Souls, first of the Dark Reapers. Fuegan, the Burning Lance, the founder of the Fire Dragon Shrine. Baharoth, the Cry of the Wind, founder of the Swooping Hawks. Drastanta, the Tempest of Starlight, first of the Shining Spears. Irilith, the Shade of Twilight, founder of the Shadow Spectre Shrine. Amon Harakt of the Eagle Pilot Shrine, and Karandras, the Shadow Hunter, Phoenix Lord of the Striking Scorpions. Unlike the other Phoenix Lords mentioned, Karandras was not the founder of the Striking Scorpion Shrine. That honour belongs to Ahra, the fallen Phoenix who rebelled against the other Asuya and fell to the Dark Light of Chaos. Now there are Aspect Warrior Shrines which we do not know the respective Phoenix Lord of, most notably the Warp Spiders and the Crimson Hunters. Now while there are other Aspect Shrines that we know little of in regards to their respective Phoenix Lords, such as the Slicing Orbs, Crystal Dragons and Ebon Talons, we also have no information about these respective Shrines to even begin formulating their Phoenix Lords identities. It's also highly likely that these Shrines were also unique to one specific craft world which would also make gathering information rather difficult. By contrast, the Warp Spiders and Crimson Hunters are much more widespread amongst the craft worlds, and as such it's rather unusual that we know nothing of these Shrines respective Phoenix Lords. First, we'll take a look at the Crimson Hunters. The Crimson Hunters are unusual aspect warriors, as they do not fight akin to other Shrines. Instead, Crimson Hunters are trained to become exceptional pilots, endlessly practicing all sorts of manoeuvres as well as marksmanship to rain death from above, embodying the aspect of the war god Kayla Metrican, representing airborne pursuit and superiority. Surprisingly, the Phoenix Lord of the Crimson Hunters could also be a unique case of a Phoenix Lord founding more than one shrine. In this case, it's entirely possible that the Phoenix Lord of the Crimson Hunters is in fact Amon Harakt. This is due in part to Amon Harakt being the founder of the Path of the Fighter Pilot with his Aspect Warriors being known as the Eagle Pilots as a result. Since the Crimson Hunters are also fighter pilots, and would presumably also follow this path, it does seem likely that Amon Harakt is their Phoenix Lord. Perhaps it could even be a case of the Warrior Aspect having different names depending upon which craft world their shrine is based. Now we'll take a look at the Warp Spiders. Warp Spiders are deadly warriors, representing the aspect of aggressive defence. They model their weaponry and armour on those of the Warp Spiders, small crystalline creatures which inhabit and destroy any intruding psychic presence within the Wraithbone skeleton of the Craft Worlds. There is also a very strong contender for the Phoenix Lord of the Warp Spider Shrine, a mysterious figure known as Lycosidae the Wraith Spider. 
according to the inhabitants of the craft world Kalor, a warp spider with power that transcends that of the Exarchs, aspect warriors lost upon the path of the warrior doomed forever to walk it, appears once every few millennia to bring justice and peace to Kalor. It's speculated that Lycosidae is in fact the Phoenix Lord of the Warp Spiders, but one who has somehow become ignorant of a status as Nasuria. However, there are potential possibilities when it comes to the Wraith Spider himself. The Kalorian Wraithsmith, Vaelum the Silver, believes that Lycosidae is in fact a Warp entity, in essence, a psychic personification of Wraithbone or even the Infinity Circuit itself and is a monumental force of purification, much like the tiny warp spiders that inhabit the craft world's wraithbone structures. Alternatively, Lycosidae could simply be an exceptionally skilled and powerful exarch. What do you think? Leave a comment below, and thanks for watching.